Frank. Morning. Morning cup of tea for you. Ta. I have got a really, really hectic day today. It's good because it will keep my mind off of Elliot's bombshell. He's moving to Spain in 10 days or whatever it is. But he's just doing one. He's doing like a new business venture there and he said he still loves me and that he's going to miss me. And um, he seemed so sincere and I got a little bit choked up about it. Oh, what a prick. Frank, he wasn't being a prick, he was being really nice. Yeah, obviously, but he's been, he's done, he's half done it on purpose to get you. <laughs> he's proper got your little heart, like, right there. No, I'm fine. I'm just no, saying it fine, was a bit of an emotional I'm... moment in a burger bar. I weren't really expecting it. Because now he's got your back and now you're thinking about it. And now no, like, he hasn't oh. got me. We're not back together. No, but he's got your head thinking. Well, that's what I mean. He's like, oh. Yeah, but no, he basically said everything I needed to hear. So, like, he understands that, yeah, it's hard for me and he doesn't think I'm not normal because I want my space. But I felt like the way he was speaking was that if I wanted to give it another go, then he would. But meaning that you'd go to Spain? Yeah. That's mad. He thinks that me and him could really work out if we lived in Spain together because I'd be away from the pressures of Essex. Yeah. He thinks we could be really happy there. So he would like us to give it another go. And I think we could be happy there as well. I suppose you've got to have a think about it, ain't you? I know. I'm sorry, but I've been sensing some flirting between them all night. 100%. The way I've seen them recently is that it's James. All I know is if I do go, I'm, I'm going to miss you.